Hello everybody and welcome to My Midlife Crisis. Today I want to talk to you about my biotin overdose story and you most probably know biotin as a health and beauty supplement. Hit the biotin summary. Biotin is part of the B vitamin family, B7 to be precise. Biotin can be found naturally in foods such as eggs, salmon, avocados and nuts. Biotin is good for regulating the nervous system. <laughs> liver metabolism and famously popular to enhance the health of skin, hair and nails. The National Institute of Health recommends that the recommended daily dosage of biotin for adults and teenagers is 30 mcg per day. But <laughs> when I decided to innocently take biotin to help grow my hair, enhance my skin and lengthen and strengthen my nails, she went all in because she is an Aries and that makes me a go home or go hard kind of gal. So I go straight in for the highest MCG. That's 10,000 MCG of biotin a day. I mean, why the FC UK not? This is a regulated beauty supplement. What's the harm, right? 10,000 MCG is 400 times the recommended daily dose. And since I have done research for this video, there is now biotin products on the market at 12,000 MCG. Now, Mayo Clinic does state that 10,000 MCG is safe as no adverse side effects have been noted to date. Well, note this, Mayo Clinic. So when I started taking 400 times the daily recommended dose of biotin, it took about a week before I started noticing the side effects. And the first thing I noticed was that my heart rate was through the roof. I was jumping at every pin drop. Someone just had to say my name and I would keel over in anxiety. And the hardest part was I was getting about two hours sleep a night. I mean, I was wired, but my hair was shiny. <laughs> now, as you can probably guess, living on two hours sleep a night, it didn't take long until I started to lose my SHIT. And I started hearing noise from the neighbors that lived above me. Bear in mind at this point, I lived in a flat. I was on the middle floor, but I had never had any issues with noisy neighbors up until that point. And I had lived in that property for about two years previous before this event happened. Now, the best way I could describe these noises is like a deep boom that happened about every 45 minutes. And this would happen from dusk till dawn. Now, bear in mind at this point, I have no idea that I'm on the verge of a heart attack because I'm taking 400 times the daily recommended dose of biotin. I start thinking that I'm on the verge of having a heart attack because my noisy neighbors upstairs are making noises all day and all night 24 7. My boyfriend used to stay over my house a lot at this point and even though the noises weren't keeping him up at night because he wasn't wired on biotin he did say that he heard the noises and he was saying that it sounded like there was a generator going off upstairs on a timer. I'm like what does that mean? And he's like it means they're growing D-R-U-Gs up there. Now, I knew the two lads from upstairs. They were very quiet. They kept themselves to themselves, a little bit creepy, <laughs> but they seemed nice enough and I'd never had any issues with them before. But I'm off my titties. My boyfriend's claiming that there's D-R-U-Gs being grown upstairs. And I'm just annoyed that I'm hearing a bang every 45 minutes. I'm the kind of person who's like, do what you need to do. I shouldn't be saying this, should I? Do what you need to do as long as no one finds out about it, all right? But if I'm hearing big, massive booms coming from your generator every 45 minutes, that starts from early hours of the morning all the way through the night, I'm gonna need to do something about it. Now, I really got on with the lady who lived in the flat opposite me, and I'm going to keep her name Sturm, and I'm gonna call her Barbara. So I speak to Barbara, and I'm like, do you hear these noises? She's not as OTT as me at this point because she's still sleeping okay, but she has heard the noises, so at least I know it's not a hallucination. Now I tell her what my boyfriend said about the generator and she's gasping. And we decide together, we need to tell the landlord. So I call up the landlord and I say, we're having a few issues upstairs. We believe that they're growing DRUGs. I'm hearing a generator that goes off every 45 minutes. And he says, Sarah, are you sure about this? And I say, 100% sure. At this point, I am not in the right state of mind to be making any accusations. I am FC UK'd up. And you know, all I really wanna do is to stop my heart from racing a million thousand miles an hour. And if I think that's because of the noises coming upstairs, I'm gonna do everything in my power to stop them and shut whatever operation they have up there down. Now, this is when I start becoming a little bit immoral. And I'm not proud of it, but I understand why I did it. I reached the point in my insomnia and borderline heart attack journey where I would do anything to ease that heart rate. I would do anything to sleep. So I turned to D-R-U-G's, W-E-E-D to be precise. Now I don't like to smoky smoky and toky toky. So I decided to bake. So I'm accusing upstairs of growing D-R-U-G's whilst I'm baking those D-R-U-G's in my flat. There was one evening, 
where I started getting messages from the flat downstairs. And they were saying to me, OMG, I can smell it. You are right about the boys and the DRUGs. And as soon as I read that message, I get a bam, bam, bang on my door. I open the door, it's Barbara. And she's like, we've got them. They're doing it right now. I can smell it. <sighs> and what do you think I did in that moment? Do you think I confessed? Do you think I explained myself? Look, I've not been sleeping. I've had to stop baking so that I can get a good night's sleep. Do you think I told them the truth? I didn't. I was so desperate that I said, you're right, we've got them. So I went back in my flat, I felt like crap. I ate my bakes. <laughs> and I slept, I slept. I'm still under the conclusion that there is something going on up there though. So I am neighborhood watch at this point. I'm watching them come in the flat. I'm watching them come out of the flat. I'm taking pictures of anything that seems suspicious with those two lads. There was this one evening and I thought I'd got them. Two guys walking out the flat carrying a big oblong container. They put that big oblong container into the back of the van. If they're filling something up that looks the size of a commercial fridge, this is big. You know, they could go to prison for this. And if they're in prison, the noises stop. <laughs> So I'm on the phone to the landlord. I'm taking pictures and I'm sending them straight over to the landlord. Now at the same time, I'm messaging the flat below. I'm saying, we've got them. I'm messaging Barbara and I'm like, look, we've got them. And then Barbara messages back. She's like, nah, that ain't the boys. I've just sold my daughter's wardrobe. Now again, this is where my morals come into play for the second time. I was on the phone to the landlord as I read this message. Now the landlord is telling me, we've got enough evidence for a raid. And then I've got Barbara telling me, it ain't full of DRUGs. It's an empty down wardrobe that she sold on Spock. What do you think I did in this moment? Do you think I said, whoops, I made a mistake? Do you think I told them the truth? I did it again. I lied. And I said, yeah, the raid. Great. And then it happened. The raid went ahead and it happened. It happened on a day where I was at work, so I wasn't there to witness it, but I heard the correspondence quite quickly. When I was told that there is no evidence of growing or taking DRUGs up in that flat. Now, did I feel like a fool? Yes. Did I feel like a BITCH? Yes. Did I want to literally curl up into a ball in DIE in that moment? Yes, I did. Especially after I lied twice as well. I did apologize to the lads. It's quite obvious it was me that set them up. I went upstairs, I created a massive hamper full of vegan treats for them and do you know what? They were upstanding guys. They accepted it and they forgave me and they understood, which was really sweet and kind of made the whole situation a bit worse. <laughs> but after this, I did have to do some reflecting and I was like, what is this then? And why has my health deteriorated rapidly over the last month? What have I changed about my lifestyle? And then it hit me. It's the bloody biotin, wasn't it? It took me a whole month for my dumb ass to realise that it was the biotin that was ruining my life, causing my anxiety, and was pushing me towards a flipping heart attack. Now, I should have known better when it came to this supplement because I am actually allergic to B3. And biotin is part of the B vitamin family, just like B3. Now, let me tell you how I found out that I was allergic to B3. I was living with my boyfriend and his family at the time. My boyfriend was big in the gym, so he loved his supplements and he used to take B3. One of the days he was like, Sarah, try a B3. And I was like, what's B3 do? And he said, helps with your blood circulation. You may feel a bit flush, but it all in all, it's good for you. So he handed me over two B3 tablets and I swallowed them whole. Now it probably took around 15 to 20 minutes until I started feeling the overwhelming flush that B3 causes. Although nobody else described this flush as overwhelming, just me. And then when we hit the half an hour mark, that's when that B3 vitamin really kicked in. I started sweating buckets. I felt like I was gonna vomit. I felt like I was gonna faint. And shortly after, I was found sprawled all over my boyfriend's bedroom floor. Now I'm rolling back and forth. <sighs> this reaction gets worse and worse. And I mean, I feel like I'm sitting on the sun at this point. So I have a eureka moment and think I'm gonna crawl to the bathroom and I'm gonna run an ice cold bath and get in it. Now at this point, I'm delirious. I'm not thinking straight. I'm not even Sarah B right now. So as I crawl from my boyfriend's bedroom to the bathroom, I am also removed 
removing my clothing. Bear in mind, my boyfriend's mom, dad, and big brother are all in this house. By the time I reach the mouth of the bathroom door, I am butt naked. Now, my boyfriend is really confused at this moment, but he is continuing to throw abuse at me whilst I'm clearly in agony and need medical help. So I continue to tell him to FC UK off. Now, his mother hears this and proceeds to tell me to not speak to her son like that. So I tell her to FC UK off too. Bear in mind, I've never spoken to her like this before. And then shortly after that, the brother comes out. And the only way I can describe what his reaction was is by showing you. And it went a little something like this. So the ice cold bath is ran and I decide to slip on in, putting my body in even more shock than it already is. So quite instantly, I decide to slither back out. And the best way I can describe how this looks is if you've ever watched the alien films, it could even be the Predator film, I don't know which one in particular, where there's those alien eggs and they start cracking and the aliens kind of slither and plop out. That is exactly what I did when I slid out of that bath onto the bathroom floor. Thankfully, the adverse effects from that B3 did wear off and I was able to go and apologize to the whole family about my erratic behavior. I didn't get kicked out, I was forgiven, and I'm very thankful for that. But back to the biotin. I did call the doctors, and they confirmed that I had overdosed, and that it would take approximately three weeks for my heart rate to go back to normal. And when I did my research after taking the biotin overdose, there wasn't any information saying anything about insomnia, about alleviated heart rate, but I did go back into my research mode to plan for this video and now I do believe there is one case recorded of a heart attack caused by biotin. That one case doesn't seem like a lot but that one case could have been me and it could be you. And when it comes to dangers regarding supplements, biotin isn't the only suspect. If you are looking to start a new supplement always do your own research and if you are confused or you are unsure please call the doctor. Never go all in with a new supplement like I did with the biotin. Always dose small and then work yourself up. That is my biotin overdose story. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for being part of my midlife crisis. If you did like this video, please drop me a like. And if you want to comment down below or if you have experienced any adverse side effects on biotin, let me know. If you do like content like this, subscribe because I want to see more of you. Take care of yourselves and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.